cut him loose for 30 laps. Jake Swanson, Logan Williams, your front row. Charles Davis Jr., Brody Rowe, R.J. Johnson, Damian Gardner, Logan C.B. Austin Williams. Green flag is in the air. It's time to let her eat. Amsel, you sack CRA Sprint Cars at Arizona Speedway. And it will be Jake Swanson and Logan Williams running one, two on the racetrack off a of turn or two. R.J. Johnson sinks by Charles Davis Jr. as yellow flag will fly. One car is stopped in the middle of turn number two. Green flags in the air. We're back underway for 30 laps. And Jake Swanson, Logan Williams, Brody Rowe lead the train as they go three wide there for a brief moment. R.J. Johnson and Damian Garner make contact. Charles Davis here takes over that four spot. Off a of turn number four, Jake Swanson leads lap number one, followed by Logan Williams, Brody Rowe, Charles Davis Jr. Then it's R.J. Johnson in fifth. Damian Garner right now trying to hold off the 19S of Logan Seavey. Gardner up top trying to reel in the tail tank of the 92 machine of R.J. Johnson. Johnson though slaves the door. Demon goes to go down low. Slide job on R.J. Johnson. Can the Demon make it stick? Yes, he can. Off a of turn number four. Move Gardner up to that fifth spot, trying to reel in Charles Davis Jr. As looks like right now, the top line is working for the majority of the field. As CRJ Johnson gets around the number 19S of Logan CV, so does the number two machine of Austin Williams. And right behind Logan CV is Cadillac Cody Williams. First car on the bottom side of the racetrack trying to make things happen is Mike Martin, number 16. Logan CV trying to hold off the 44 of Cadillac Cody Williams back in the pack as Jake Swanson leads the field off a of turn number four. It's him, Logan Williams. Brody Rowe, Charles Davis Jr., your top four. Right now, your top five is Damian Garner. That's R.J. Johnson at six. As CV with a slide job on the two machine. Williams, they make contact off a of two. CV stays in the gas and he gets the spot. Now Cadillac Cody Williams going to try to get past the number two machine of Austin Williams as they work their way off a of turn number four. They're still side by side. Give the advance to the two machine as they work into turn number one. Yellow flag in the air. One car around. Oh, and the second place driver, Logan Williams, gets into that car off of turn number four. Jake Swanson might have made contact with his left front. The fire, Logan Williams, had nowhere to go. Green flags in the air. We're back underway. And Jake Swanson leads the field off a of turn number two, followed by Brody Rowe as R.J. Johnson dies up underneath Damian Garner, trying to work his way past him. Johnson also trying to work underneath the 50 machine of Charles Davis Jr. as they come off a of turn number four. That top line's going to be rolling, though, but it's still Davis, Johnson, and Garner fighting for that third spot. R.J. Johnson to the inside actually has him cleared. If he can pull up off a of turn number two, he'll do just that. Make it two for one. R.J. Johnson from fifth to third. Here comes the Demon going to try to follow suit. Garner, though, couldn't quite do it. Entering turn number three, comes back up, bounces off the cushion as R.J. Johnson that's found some speed on the bottom side of the racetrack. Cat fishing around the bottom side looking to get past your points leader Brody Roa. The Arizona crowd here at Arizona Speedway starting to get up on their feet and make some noise as one of their local heroes R.J. Johnson a five-time USAC Southwest Series champ is trying to get that thing up to the front. Right now he is in second. Brody Roa trying to come back on the top side. Can't quite do it. Those th top three drivers right now, they have pulled away from Charles Davis Jr. and Damian Gardner. Here comes Logan Seavey on the top side of the Demon as well. Moves Seavey up to that fifth spot. So out front, it's Jake Swanson. Leads the field off a turn or two. Almost has a full straightaway advantage where R.J. Johnson. Then it's another three car links back to Brody Roa. Then it's another ten car links back to Charles Davis Jr. And then they're bottled up behind that. Damian Gardner, Cadillac, Cody Williams, and Logan Seavey exchanging that sixth spot. Fifth, sixth, seventh right there coming at you. Damian Gardner, Logan C with a slide job on Cadillac. Cody Williams can't make it sick. Now he gets back in the gas on the top side. He'll get right back around the 44. As Swanson crosses the start finish line, he has a couple of lap cars. Has a cushion between himself and R.J. Johnson. Johnson right now working underneath the 12B of Rayborn. He'll put him one lap down and also gets by the another lap car. Trying to keep Jake Swanson in his sights. Brody Rowe right now still using the top side of the racetrack. Damon Garner going to go down the bottom side, try to get around Charles Davis Jr. As they battle on the track for fourth, move Gardner up to that fourth spot. Davis back to fifth. And it's CD right now in sixth. Seventh is Mike Martin. Then you got Cadillac Cody Williams and Austin Williams battling side by side behind them. 
Damian Gardner right now using that low lines has caught up to your point leader Brody Roa as they work their way off of turn at number four. Swanson still the leader followed by RJ Johnson. Then it's Gardner Roa side by side going into one. Damian Gardner down low. Brody Roa on the top side of the racetrack. Roa gets very high off of turn number two. Here comes the Demon down on the inside entering three. Gardner down low, Roa up top. Those two drivers, your top two end points. Not willing to go an inch here as they battle for that third spot. Gardner still can't quite clear the 91R of Roa. One driver finding some speed further behind these guys. It is the 16 of Mike Martin. Starting to work his way, creeping up inside the top five. Looking underneath the 19 S of Logan Seavey. And then he has Charles Davis Jr. right ahead of him. I know right now this has to be killing Charles Davis Jr. He loves riding that rim right now. Has to drive down the bottom side of the racetrack. That's where the speed is at. R.J. Johnson showed some speed right there, but still Jake Swanson out front on the top side of the racetrack. Show him away. R.J. Johnson, he'll go on the top side of the racetrack as well to get by. A couple lap cars, Chris Ganson. One car goes off the racetrack down the back straightaway. Three wide, some lap cars mixed in with Blue St. James and Matt Rossi. As we got contact to turn two, the 51 of Irvin brings out the yellow flag. And the green flag is in the air once again. 14 laps to go. And Chris Ganson does the smart thing, gets out of every race way, except for Charles Davis Jr. He's trying to go up to the top side of the racetrack. Now going to get bottleneck behind Chris Ganson. Here goes Martin in the inside of Davis. Move Mike Martin into that fifth spot. As R.J. Johnson trying to work down the inside, work his way up. Route as we got a tire has just flown off. Bruce St. James is, I believe, no, that's the 28 of McCarthy. The 28 L McCarthy loses a left rear tire. <clears throat> Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. And finally, USAC officials able to get that thing stopped. And the yellow flag is back out. Green flag in the air. 14 laps to go. And the Knights made it. And Chris Ganson once again gets out of harm's way on the top side of the racetrack. Jake Swanson has no idea how good the bottom has been this entire main event for R.J. Johnson because he's been out front holding that wheel up on the cush. And here they come off a of turn number four. Jake Swanson, your race leader. R.J. Johnson out down low. Going to try to make it side by side as they turn number one. Now R.J. Johnson goes to the top side along with Brody Roa. Does R.J. Johnson kind of surprised by that move out of R.J. Johnson in the 92 machine? Now he's going to dive down low through turns three and four. So it's Swanson up top. Brody Roa up top. He's going to get past R.J. Johnson off of turn number four. Move Roa up into the second spot. Swanson, Roa, Johnson, your top three up on the top side of the racetrack. This is the Demon, Damian Gardner, leading the charge on the bottom with Charles Davis Jr. and Mike Martin. Gardner now, look underneath R.J. Johnson as they come through turns three and four. Gardner down low, Johnson up on the top side. Johnson trying to find the speed that Roa has up there. Doesn't quite have it though. Demon goes past R.J. Johnson. Jake Swanson bounces off the cushion at the exit of turn number two, stays in the gas, so has about a five-car lead of the band right now. Over your points leader for the Amsoil USAC CRA Series, Brody Roa off of turn number four. It's still Swanson, Roa, now Gardner, Johnson, Davis, and Martin, your top six. Ten laps to go here tonight's main event when they cross the stripe. It will be nine laps to go as Jake Swanson leads the field off of turn number four. Him, Brody Rowan, and the Demon, Damian Garner, all using the top side of the racetrack, along with your fourth place, fourth place driver, R.J. Johnson. But it's Davis and Martin trying to find some speed down the bottom side of the track. Those are the only two cars down the bottom side of the track. Is Charles Davis Jr. and the Magic Man, Mike Martin. Then he got a couple of cars on the top side trying to make things happen as well now. The number two machine of Williams and the 42 of Hollywood, Danny Faria Jr. As Jake Swanson gets one car a lap down, trying to make it a buffer. Looks like the 12B of Rayborn will stay out of harm's way. Let these leaders battle it out here as the top three, they have pulled away from R.J. Johnson and Charles Davis Jr. But here comes the two. Austin Williams to the outside. He'll sneak around Mike Martin. Now he's going to look to the outside of Charles Davis Jr. And then in turn number three, Austin Williams with a very fast hot run here in the late going of tonight's main event. He'll get past Charles Davis Jr. on the top side. The number two machine of Austin Williams has that thing hooked up right now. Trying to get around R.J. Johnson for fourth as we got a battle heating up for second. Gardner looked to the inside. His car washed up the racetrack. He bounced off the cushion and lost a lot of momentum there to the 91R. So Brody Arola 
It will hold the Demon Damien Garner at bay for now. Still about 10 car lengths behind the 34 AZ of Jake Swanson, but Swanson coming up on some heavy lap traffic in front of him. So he has Cody Williams, Chris Ganson, Logan Williams, and a few others right ahead of him. See how Jake Swanson navigates his way through the lap traffic off of turn number two. He gets past one. Brody Royal going to try to get past one as well as they're slicing and dicing behind these guys for that four spot. R.J. Johnson in the, five, or in the two machine of Austin Williams going all out for fourth as Swanson bounces off the boards there in turn number two. Wow, well, was Brody Royal to close the gap, but he got stuck right behind the 4G of Chris Ganson. Rua not able to get past the 4G of Chris Ganson as Swanson was on the top side of the racetrack. Pulls away here, two laps to go. Jake Swanson starting to pull away. Rua finally clears the 4G. Damian Garner trying to do the same. Looks like the rest of the lap cars using the inside line as the white flag flies this time for the 34 AZ of Jake Swanson. One more time around for Jake Swanson. Can he hold off? Here, Amzal, USAC Series points leader, Brody Rua, through turns three and four. One final time. It will be the 34 AZ of Jake Swanson winning tonight's main event.